Winding road to the Super Bowl continues here in the divisional round, where two teams look to take another step towards the Super Bowl. It's the Texans going up against the Chargers. Green 39! Green 39! Chargers. Throwing now, Osweiler on first down. Gets it to Strong. The 30! 10! 5! Touchdown, Houston! Jalen Strong, 81 yards, and the Texans have taken the early lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions, and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. Your offense making their way out. They'll be let out by their quarterback. Out of Oregon, it's Marcus Mariota. Receiver left, that's Allen. They go play action here on first down. Wide open, it's Allen complete. Now Gordon on first down. There goes Melvin Gordon. And all the way in. Touchdown, San Diego. Melvin Gordon, 46 yards. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Mariota on third and two. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they, they can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back. Touchdown, Houston! Will tie 69 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers. Up in an empty set, four wide receivers, one tight end. Mariota again. Right side complete. That's Woods. On third down, Mariota. And that is incomplete. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. Osweiler. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Good, 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 good. Ah. On first and 10, it's Osweiler. Dumps it complete to Miller. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at... It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles. But here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game. And if you still want to get... He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And take it right on the 30. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. The big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runner. Come out here in the eye. Time running out here on the play clock. Now the handoff comes to Gordon, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensive. And the play clock's running down. 
Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. And this is going to be incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. And that brings up fourth. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's in. Miller, the lone set man. Back to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. He's back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. He'll look to throw. Hits his target, the tight end, Will Ty. Matter, because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Throwing middle, but... They'll look to throw. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. They're going for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for the coaches during the week. Well, that's to their team. We're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. And defense, you got me? Now the Texans are going to stop it as a signal for a timeout. One man in the backfield is Gordon. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to fight it. And now the Texans want to call another time. What they do here on third down. The tight end Henry here in motion. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They come out here in the eye. They'll run for it. It's Gordon. It'll be a gain of four. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Oh, man, that was some call right there. The game in the balance. They run for it on fourth down, and this has been the story all game long. They've been the ones that come up with the big plays when they've needed them. And that last one, that may have won them the football game. They go to a knee here, and with that, it's on to the AFC title game. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel good.